Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the C programming series binary for input and output so in the last video we learned how to uh, write uh, simple text to a file but sometimes we write, uh, want to write some actual bytes data because uh, first of all writing text is not like the most secure way to it uh, I mean if you don't encrypt it then writing in binary is not secure either but uh, uh, well anyways it uh, also takes a lot more space so text takes a lot more space to write than to uh, write say something binary and text is also more difficult to read you can't have like a table based format for it because uh, for example if we have a number six let's say that's only taking up one byte uh, because it's one character however if we have 16 it takes up two bytes if we have 30 333 let's say that has three bytes but uh, when we are writing in uh, binary then an integer always has the same size which is four bytes on most computers so any integer will always uh, be stored in four bytes because it's not storing the character separately it's storing that and uh, it also makes it difficult to write wrong data and just makes things a lot easier uh, because there are many times when you want to write text files instead but binary files can also be very useful so in order to write with binary we use the wb so in order to write binary or read binary or anything you just add the mode that you are using and then you uh, put binary in uh, front of it so with that then then we are going to use the function called fwrite this function can be used to write uh, data to the uh, you know uh, file uh, in binary and uh, we can provide it with first of all it takes four arguments the first one is the actual a void pointer which is supposed to be the buffer it's basically supposed to be the actual pointer to data that we want to write so we are going to say fwrite and uh, I'm actually going to create an integer x and set it to some random value and we are going to put uh, the address of x in here when we are writing because it needs to be a pointer and then after that we are supposed to put the size of each element this also this function also supports writing uh, array so for size we are just going to use the size of operator and get size of integer and uh, for the number of elements uh, since this is not an array but a single variable we are just going to say one and in the end we need to pass the file pointer and I'm going to change this dot txt to dot bin to you know kind of show that it's a binary file now let me open up the terminal and uh, let's just clear it first and uh, go ahead and compile the program by saying gcc hello.c and if I do that what you should see is that when I run the program uh, if it actually compiles correctly so yeah you can see it does and if I run the program but hap uh, nothing happens of course currently but if I go ahead and open up my file explorer you can see we have got name.bin in here and if I open in here you can see it says that it's not displayed in the text editor because it supports uh, uses an unsupported text encoding that's because it actually does not have text it's binary so you can see it is either binary or this so uh, our file is binary we can use it by you can install an extension in VS code which is called hack editor so if we use that then that is very nice because it actually uh, shows the actual bytes uh, like how they are supposed to be and if I select the first byte here you can see in the data inspector it shows what type would it be for every different value so this is the actual binary representation and uh, this is the octal and this is the uint 8 int 8 uh, we are we, what we are using is int 32 so if I go here you can see it reads 578 correctly which is what we indeed uh, wrote so you can see that works and it is exactly four bytes and uh, you can see one two three four and no matter what uh, kind of uh, integer we uh, add here as long as it's an integer it's going to be uh, you know f uh, exactly four bytes and uh, Mm, for most purposes uh, we are going to use integers if we want to have very large numbers we can use l long integers uh, which are uh, kind of 8 bytes so anyways uh, you can see that this is very you know interesting and uh, uh, we can uh, check these bytes separately actually we can you know check each of these bytes separately but uh, normally uh, from the way we actually store it in C we are supposed to select the first very first byte of it and it should automatically uh, get the in 32 by reading the next three bytes and get it this is a really nice extension to have you should go ahead and download it uh, and uh, uh, we are going to close this name.bin file and uh, now let's try reading so in order to read we can do something similar we can use the fread function
All right, so uh, in order to use the f read function, we can just replace this f write with f read, and f read, as you can see, takes the exact same parameters. It gives uh, take it uh, does not take a const pointer uh, because uh, now it needs to actually write to it, and we just give it uh, address of a pointer, and then we give it the element size, then we give it the element count and stream, and we are giving it each uh, we are giving it basically the same arguments. Now, of course, we want to change the writing mode to read byte instead of write binary, and now we are going to print this uh, number just. To see if it is working so let's just do that and add me, let me add a new line as well and now let's go ahead and run this i have already compiled this and you can see that it does indeed print 578 which is the value that we stored in the name.bin file and uh, that is pretty awesome now if we open up a for example text file in binary and try to read it the same way then it will uh, read it uh, it will read some, it reads some really large value that is because that is what the bytes actually represent if you were to convert them into an integer so if i now open up a name.txt and uh, i uh, go ahead and open with hex editor instead you can see if i select this uh, the first one then integer is uh, indeed this value that we got so uh, we can uh, use this to read uh, many different kinds of data any kind of data basically uh, that uh, because uh, in c all types can be represented as uh, uh, you know uh, basically binary format uh, as like a, a set fixed size uh, data uh, whether it's a struct or anything because structures are like fixed size just like arrays so we can uh, use them really easily so we can use this to write basically any kind of data that we want to uh, and uh, this can be used whenever it's for example only your program that needs to read it or uh, basically any other basically the end user does not need to open the file and edit it then it's uh, convenient to write in binary format so that it's uh, more efficient and more easier to manage as well so with all of this knowledge and pointers and stuff that we have learned we are going to uh, try to build a small application with it and build all of the users full construct for it uh, like for example I'm um, like uh, managing application or something like that so you uh, stay tuned for that and if you want to watch that you must subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video and also make sure to share this video with other people and bye